Welcome back everyone. Uh, we are at the back nine of the new Tanjong course. I'm going to share with you um, how I make my decisions for every single shot on this back nine. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. I'm going to make this uh, simple to understand. I've color coded the course. If I mention something about the red zone, with this red arrow, it means that you never want to be there. Uh, you will have a really big score. And if uh, there is a yellow arrow, it also means that it's okay to miss there and there's a possibility of us saving par. So with a short par 4 like the 10th hole, I would always look at the pin position before I hit my shot. For this hole, the pin is on the left side of the green. So on the right side of the fairway would always be good for me to have a good look towards the hole. For my parts, there are only two decisions that I have to make. One would always be my speed, firstly, and secondly, the line I'm going to take with the speed that I'm going with. Hole 11, my red zone would be the right of this tree. Uh, since I'm a drawer, hitting a fade would be really difficult towards this pin. So my option will always be center green, uh, sorry, center fairway, and the yellow side will be left of the fairway. However, I got a bit unlucky with the lie. As you can see, the ball is not sitting up well. It's semi-buried. And I've still got a long way to the hole. It's a par 4. Normally, we would see um, golfers taking up their three wood to hit from this lie. But in my case, it's almost impossible to get the ball up in the air. So I've chosen with a three iron and hoping for the ball to run up as far as it can. So now I'm left with about 58 meters. I've opt for a sandwich and I'm just going to hit it as far as possible to the pin, uh, get it as close as possible to save my part. So again with my parts, I chose the line and then with the speed. Line wasn't good, so an expected bogey from that horrible line. On this hole, hole 12, I do not want to be left of this tree and right of this point. So these two are red zones. My only yellow zone is the far left corner of this fairway and I hope to hit it towards the center. If not, the yellow zone would still be fine. Now my second shot with 176 meters to the pin, left of the green is definitely my red zone. If I'm there, then it's going to be really difficult for me to get up and down. Ideally, I want to be in the center or the right side of this green. Hole 13, par 5, 488 meters. The only red zone would be the right side of this fairway. I'm okay with me being in the bunker. So my target line would be the center, I would say tower, and draw it back towards the fairway. <laughs> now with the pin position, uh, it's a white pin. And I think it's uh, just after the bunker. Uh, there isn't really much uh, red zone around here for me as it's okay to miss right, it's okay to be short in the bunker, and it's okay to be long. So confidently, I took a three wood and went for the green. So with a downhill chip, uh, I used the lob wedge, open it up slightly, I landed just in front of the green and let the slope take the ball towards the pin. So making a birdie here to make up for the bogey I had on the 11th hole would bring me back to even par on this back nine. Hole 14 is a short par 4 at 331 meters. Uh, I've taken a look at the pin position. It's actually um, right side of the green. So my red zone would be the right side of this fairway as there will be the tee box and some danger. Center or left side would be ideal for me.
Now with this pin position, um, the green is small, it's not really uh, big. So you don't want to be long of this green as it's going to be a really difficult spot for me to get up and down. So I really emphasize on just getting the ball on the green and give myself a chance for a birdie look. Hole 15 is at a par 3 at 195 meters. The pin is, I would say, is a tournament pin position. It's tucked um, far left. It's a blue pin. I needed 180 meters to carry the front bunker. And my 4 iron goes about 185 meters carry. So I have to hit this good to get this on the green. Center to center left of this green would be perfect. And over here, I'm just giving myself a two part for par get it as close as possible and walk away uh, with a 3. Hole 16 is a par 5. My yellow zone would be center and center right and left of this fairway would definitely be a red zone. So I've opt to hit a fade or maybe a slight cut. Now on this second shot, I have two options. I can actually hit a 3 wood past the bunker or hit a 5 iron which I'm doing now and lay up just before the bunker. I want to be center or slightly right of this ferry. Overdo this slightly and we had this synchronized look. This one not really show where the ball ended up. Uh, thankfully the ball was safe, but I'm a, in a really very awkward situation. So I've got about a hundred meters. So my first option would be what clubs do I need to select to hit a three-quarter swing and get me a hundred meters? So my 50 degrees would be a full swing and my pitching wedge would be a three-quarter swing. And because of this lie, it sort of encourages a draw. I aimed a bit more right and just want to get the ball onto the green. And two part from here for par will still keep me even par on this back nine. Hole 17, we've got the pin uh, in the front. I do not want to be on in the bunker on the left, so that will be a red zone for me as I believe that it's going to be really difficult for me to get up and down. So I've chosen my start line to be right of this green with a 5 iron and chose to hit a draw shot. Even though the ball did not draw back, but because of my decision to aim right of the green, my ball uh, landed in the bailout area. And all I needed was a uh, chip shot. I put lots of spin on it, keep the face slightly open through the shot and save my par. Hole 18, the very last hole. So we're still two over, coming to the last hole. And the pin is tucked far right of this green. I definitely want to put my ball in the center of the, my, center of the fairway to give myself a really good chance to birdie the hole. But unfortunately, I hit this well right and I, the ball was in the rough. It was sitting okay, but for a drawer like me, uh, with the pin position tucked far right, I'm not able to get the ball close to the hole. So the only decision I have for this is to put the ball in the center of the fairway two part from there and walk away with the par. So the way that we make decisions can be put simply by color coding uh, the golf course. And then from there, you just make your decision to hit the shots that is required for you to score. I would say at least par and nothing more than double bogey. I hope uh, today's nine holes has helped you make better decisions. Thank you for watching and see you at the next course.